The James Webb Space Telescope has once again made headlines, this time with a breakthrough that has stunned astronomers across the globe. Just moments ago, scientists released the first ever direct image of Oumuamua, the mysterious interstellar object that has baffled experts since it was first spotted in 2017. Far from being just another space rock, this object's unusual features and origin have made it the focus of intense debate. And now, we finally have a clearer picture, quite literally. Let's explore what this image reveals, why it's groundbreaking, and what it could mean for our understanding of life beyond Earth. A Messenger from the Stars Back in October 2017, Astronomers using the Pan-STARRS telescope in Hawaii detected an object unlike any they'd seen before. Named Oumuamua, meaning scout or messenger in Hawaiian, it was quickly identified as the first known visitor from outside our solar system. But it wasn't just its interstellar origin that stirred excitement. Its highly unusual shape, strange spin, and unexplained acceleration puzzled scientists. Was it an asteroid? A comet? or something else entirely. Oumuamua entered and exited our solar system at astonishing speed, leaving researchers with only a short time to collect data. It didn't display any signs of comet-like activity. No visible tail, no gas emissions. Yet somehow it seemed to be speeding up as it moved away from the sun. These oddities sparked a range of theories, from icy fragments to alien probes. Now Webb provides the first clear image. The James Webb Space Telescope, launched in late 2021, was built to observe the universe in unmatched detail, especially in the infrared spectrum. Now it has finally turned its powerful gaze toward Oumuamua, long gone from the inner solar system, but still trackable thanks to Webb's advanced sensors. The image captured shows Oumuamua in stunning clarity. Far from a smooth, featureless shape, the object has a textured, grooved surface, possibly worn down by countless years of traveling through the harsh void between stars. This is the most detailed look we've ever had of an interstellar object. What's more, spectroscopic data has revealed the presence of complex carbon compounds and unusual minerals that suggest a truly alien origin, likely from a star system with chemical conditions vastly different from our own. Is Oumuamua a natural object, or something more? One of the biggest mysteries surrounding Oumuamua has always been its acceleration. Scientists initially suspected outgassing, like a comet venting material due to solar heating, but Webb's sensitive instruments found no such emissions. This has led to new theories. Some suggest the object may be experiencing a subtle force due to radiation pressure, a phenomenon known as the Yarkovsky effect, where sunlight can push small objects in space. Others wonder if Oumuamua is made of an exotic form of matter that behaves differently from anything found in our solar system. Still, the most controversial theory remains on the table, that Oumuamua could be artificial. Harvard's Avi Loeb famously proposed that it might be a light sail propelled by stellar radiation an ancient piece of alien technology, perhaps sent deliberately or merely drifting through the galaxy. Webb's image doesn't confirm this theory, but it doesn't disprove it either. Unexpected Discoveries in the Surface Composition Among the most surprising results of Webb's analysis are traces of heavy carbon chains, metallic isotopes, and even elements that could only have formed in high-energy environments such as exploding stars or dense planetary nurseries. These findings hint at an origin in a region of space radically different from our own, perhaps even near the core of a dying star or a chaotic star-forming zone. This supports the idea that interstellar objects like Oumuamua could serve as cosmic messengers, bringing with them materials and maybe even microbes that play a role in spreading the seeds of life across the galaxy. The theory of panspermia, once seen as fringe science, is now taken seriously by some researchers. The puzzle of its path. Even its journey through space defies simple explanation. Oumuamua's trajectory shows deviations that can't be fully explained by gravity alone. 
It's as if something nudged it, or it was programmed to take a specific path. Could this be a case of natural gravitational slingshots, or is there a deeper mystery in play? If Oumuamua is in fact a deliberately guided craft, we may be witnessing the first physical sign of intelligence beyond Earth. Even if it's natural, it's still extraordinary, a snapshot of a region far beyond our solar system. Its scars and materials carry a story billions of years old. What this means for the search for life. Whether artificial or not, Oumuamua represents a milestone in our exploration of the cosmos. Its existence proves that interstellar objects can and do pass through our solar neighborhood, carrying with them information about distant systems and perhaps even the building blocks of life. It also hints that many more such objects may be flying past us undetected. Thanks to new telescopes like Webb, we now have the tools to catch more of them and study them in detail. With the detection of a second interstellar object, Borisov, in 2019, it's clear that Oumuamua wasn't a one-time event. The floodgates may be opening. Could Oumuamua be a sign? The big question remains, is Oumuamua just an odd space rock? Or is it evidence of something far more extraordinary? Could it be the remnant of a long-lost alien mission? A probe meant to explore or communicate with other civilizations? Webb's new data doesn't give us a definitive answer but it gets us closer than ever before. And as more observations come in, we might just stumble upon the kind of discovery that redefines everything we thought we knew. The Road Ahead This breakthrough serves as a powerful reminder. The universe is vast, ancient, and full of surprises. The story of Oumuamua is far from over. As astronomers continue to study the object and prepare for the next interstellar visitor, we may soon find that we're not as alone as we once thought. The James Webb Space Telescope has once again delivered a monumental achievement, and this might only be the beginning. Technological Lessons from an Interstellar Visitor Oumuamua's appearance in our skies has done more than spark curiosity. It has challenged the very boundaries of human innovation. This enigmatic object traveling from beyond the stars poses a provocative question. If something can traverse interstellar space, why not us? Its curious motion, particularly its unexplained acceleration, has driven renewed interest in advanced propulsion concepts. One leading idea is the light sail, a spacecraft driven not by engines or fuel, but by the pressure of light itself. This method, once considered theoretical, now underpins real projects like Breakthrough Starshot, which aims to send ultralight probes to our neighboring star system, Alpha Centauri. But Oumuamua didn't just inspire movement, it inspired vision. Its late detection underscored the need for more sensitive sky monitoring systems. While Pan Stars gave us the initial glimpse, upcoming observatories like the Vera C. Rubin Observatory promise to revolutionize our capacity to detect faint, fast-moving interstellar objects. Hopefully, while they're still within reach. A philosophical shift sparked by a sliver of the unknown. Beyond the physics and technology, Oumuamua strikes at something deeper, our sense of place in the universe. If it is a natural object, it reinforces the staggering complexity and richness of the cosmos. But if there's even the slightest chance it's artificial, it opens the door to questions that rewrite our understanding of life, intelligence, and cosmic connection. Its presence in our solar system feels less like a coincidence and more like a cosmic whisper, reminding us that we are part of something much larger. It encourages us to reflect not only on the physical universe, but on what it means to exist in a universe teeming with possibilities we've only just begun to glimpse. James Webb's historic image, what we finally see. The James Webb Space Telescope has delivered what was once unthinkable, the first direct image of Oumuamua. No longer just a dot inferred from flickering light, we now see a highly detailed picture of this celestial traveler. Contrary to early assumptions, Oumuamua isn't simply cigar-shaped or pancake-flat. It's rugged and asymmetrical, 
with visible grooves, ridges, and even crater-like markings that hint at an epic journey through the interstellar void. These scars suggest a long history of thermal stresses, high-velocity impacts, and gravitational tugs from foreign suns. In certain areas, there's even a metallic sheen, suggesting the presence of nickel, iron, or possibly exotic alloys. This hybrid structure, part rock, part metal, defies simple categorization and challenges our definitions of asteroids and comets. Decoding its mysterious composition. Webb's spectral data has added to the intrigue. The surface of Oumuamua is coated with complex organic molecules, possibly formed by cosmic radiation acting on carbon-rich materials over eons. These substances are commonly found in deep space bodies like Titan or Kuiper Belt objects. But Oumuamua's makeup suggests a birthplace far stranger. Some isotopes in its composition point to extreme environments, like the debris fields of supernovae or the dense disks of newborn star systems. This could mean Oumuamua was formed near a dying star or within a chaotic, radiation-heavy region of space before being ejected and flung toward us. These clues suggest Oumuamua isn't just a piece of space debris, but possibly a relic from an ancient and distant corner of the galaxy. What drives its acceleration? The mystery persists. Perhaps the biggest riddle surrounding Oumuamua is its unexplained acceleration. Normally, comets speed up due to outgassing, ice turning to vapor as they warm near the sun. But Webb's instruments have confirmed what earlier observations suggested. Oumuamua shows no signs of outgassing, no tail, no emissions, nothing. This has led to unconventional hypotheses. Some researchers propose that it might be made of pure hydrogen ice, sublimating invisibly. But this theory falls apart under Webb's scrutiny. No hydrogen signals have been detected. Another theory, radiation pressure. The sun's photons could have subtly nudged the object along. If Oumuamua had a low enough mass and a highly reflective surface, this leads to the controversial but increasingly plausible notion that Oumuamua could be a light sail, a propulsion system we've only just begun to experiment with ourselves. If true, it wouldn't just mean the object is artificial, it would imply intentional design. Is it a probe or debris from another civilization? Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb famously proposed the light sail hypothesis suggesting Oumuamua might be a relic of alien technology, maybe a probe, maybe space junk, or perhaps something in between. If this is a crafted object, however ancient or damaged, it suggests that intelligent civilizations have already mastered technologies we're only beginning to imagine. It might be the interstellar equivalent of a Voyager probe, sent out to gather data or long forgotten and drifting aimlessly. Even its scars might tell a story. Perhaps they're not from natural processes at all, but remnants of engineering, manufacturing, or catastrophic failure. Reframing the search for alien life. Oumuamua has transformed how we think about the search for extraterrestrial life. Instead of only listening for radio waves, scientists are now considering interstellar archeology, span the study of objects, not just signals. If we can identify organic molecules, manufactured materials, or even surface patterns suggestive of design, we might not need to wait for a message from ET. We could find the evidence of alien intelligence hiding in plain sight, drifting silently through space. To that end, efforts to track and intercept future interstellar objects are becoming a priority. The goal, to study them up close, collect samples, and maybe, just maybe, hold alien-made material in our hands. A new era of interstellar preparedness. The lessons of Oumuamua have prompted scientists to rethink how we monitor the skies. While today's telescopes are powerful, they're not optimized for spotting fast, dim objects entering the solar system on unpredictable paths. That's where the Vera C. Rubin Observatory comes in. Its wide field of view and rapid scan capabilities will enable it to catch more visitors like Oumuamua and sooner. Beyond observation, we may see the rise of interception missions. Agile spacecraft designed to reach interstellar objects 
while they're still accessible. Such missions could retrieve invaluable samples and possibly confirm whether any visiting body is natural or engineered. The Enduring Legacy of Oumuamua Though Oumuamua is already fading into the darkness beyond our reach, its impact on science, philosophy, and the imagination is just beginning. It has forced us to confront possibilities we once dismissed and to expand our definition of what is possible. It may be a natural wanderer, or it might be the remains of something more. Either way, it has ushered in a new chapter of cosmic discovery, one in which Earth is no longer isolated, but part of a broader, more mysterious galactic story. Umamua has not only reminded us that we are not alone in the universe, but that we have only just begun to look 